When you guys are old, are you guys going to be like, wow, I remember when mommy and daddy and we bought a bus and this was such a good adventure and it was amazing, but such I... good memories. Are you guys going to be like, Ugh, I remember that time we had to go work on the bus forever and it like, took forever and it was so boring. Yeah, that laugh makes me think my lips <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to RV That Bus. Yeah. We oh, are working we got our on our bus. Welcome. Uh, this is the last weekend we have to work on our bus, so this is just kind of like a, this is what we have to do. The list is going to be long, so buckle in folks, it's going to be about an hour long video. <laughs> Uh, we're finishing up. We have some trim in the front that we need to do. We have the whole front that we need to do. Now those are not like blockers for us to go on our trip, but it would be nice to have. Uh, our dishwasher is in and plumbed. Our sink is in and plumbed. The drains are in. I'm doing the drain and the plumbing for the bathroom sink. Um, we're finishing up wiring up our generator, mounting the tank for it and fuel, carpeting, we've got some drawers that we need to finish, a door for the closet. Pocket doors. What? Pocket doors. What pocket doors? The doors between the door, the bedroom and the bathroom and the... Oh yeah, our pocket doors we have to do. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of work to do and not a lot of time. So just a late night update. We are doing the last piece of our plumbing. So these are called Hepvo valves. They're basically a one-way valve and what it does is uh, it stops the stinkies from coming back up out of your tank. Normal houses and whatnot utilize that with a P-trap but you can't really do that in an RV because the water will slosh out and while you're driving you'll lose your P-trap uh, stopper and then the stinkies will come out. Now, that's, you know, it's just shower water for the most part, but you might have some organic go down the sink, and it's gonna get stinky, so you don't want that. So what we have to do in the kitchen sink, it wasn't too bad because for the most part, everything is like, uh, what was it, one and a half? And so it's not that difficult. The HEPA valve has a little compression inlet that goes on it that goes right into it. The problem is, is the bathroom sink is one and a quarter. It's smaller. Yay. Don't know why, but whatever. So the contraption that we have to come up with is to go from one and a quarter back up to one and a half and then use a screw on fitting into the HEPVO. Then back out of the HEPFO with a female fitting. And then off to a right hand turn and into our down into our drain. So some of these have to have joints. And how do we put those together? So this is black. This is, uh, was it ABS, I believe, right? Yeah, ABS. 
So PVC, the white stuff, um, you use purple glue and it creates what's called a uh, solvent joint. So what it does is that stuff that you put on there makes the plastic soft. And then when you put your stuff together, it melts it together. You give it like a little turn and then it melts it together and that's how you get your seal. But ABS is a little different. So first thing you gotta do is you use the yellow and you've got like a little Q-tip guy on the end here and you're gonna swab the inside. And this is your cleaner. It's kind of like acetone and it's gonna clean the inside of the surface and get it nice and happy. Then we are going to use the actual solvent, the black goo, and you're gonna give it a once over. Now you don't wanna to go too crazy with it and make a big mess, but you do wanna make sure that you have good coverage. And then you're gonna do the same on the piece that you're putting into it. You're gonna clean it. And then you're gonna apply your glue. Now you don't really have a lot of working time. And then you're going to put them together like that. Make sure you go all the way in and you're gonna go wanna give it a little twist. And that little twist ensures that you have a nice seal. And then in about, I don't know, 20 seconds or so, this thing will be hard as a rock and uh, there's, no, there's no leaks and you're never gonna get it off. At that point, you have to cut it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down and we're gonna put the rest of our fittings together and then this will go underneath the sink and then this is the last of our drains and our drains are done. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye. And there went his finger. Yeah, luckily the only uh, alley I have here really is on my thumb. In all of building the bus. Knock on everything wood. Yeah, we're not done yet. What yeah, are you doing? I'm not done yet, but most of the big cutting and whatnot is done, and so I'm not too worried. Had to sacrifice a drawer. What's wrong? For plumbing. Under uh, there. So this drawer will be fake facade drawer. But I can put at least a little bucket or something in there and utilize this space still. So hey everybody, it's been a long weekend and we've got all of our stuff we're loading up here to take the bus home and we are tired but I was just gonna kind of show you where we're at right now we still gotta get the seat in and we gotta undo all of this stuff so it doesn't roll around when we're moving we got our map on the fridge though pretty exciting bathroom pretty much done all we need to do is hang the mirror in here we've got all our mattresses and comforters and stuff ready to go we carpeted the base of the bunk bed here and built the frames which I'll enter a picture here as well of that we got our pillows and mattress we still gotta hang the bunks and this is our storage area under our bed and it's amazing it fits so much stuff so here's all our bedding and random miscellaneous stuff for our trip we still got to finish the closet over here we bought the um, stuff to, to make the shelves but we just didn't have time we're gonna, instead of putting it with uh, cedar, lining it with cedar for now, we're just going to put the carpet around in there, put some shelves in, and then we made
a door as well. So also carpeted. Well, it needs to be glued down, but we carpeted the top of our bed area. We have grass cloth for the back of this, but we haven't um, had time to put that in and we still need to finish the doors over there and put one more um, blind in over there. I also spent some time, tedious work, um, lining the inside of our windows, you can kind of see right here, with carpets. So that up here, when we drive, it doesn't bang on this inside up here. So you can kind of see, it's lined with carpet. Also from the outside, when you have the windows open, you can't, all you see is this black carpet and it looks nicer than unfinished wood. And then later, as time permits, we will do something over here in the side. So that's about it. We didn't do a lot of filming progress this weekend because just trying to get stuff done because we are leaving for our trip, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully on um, Saturday. So that is our end of the weekend recap done by me this time because oh also we haven't had time to put the black shower faucets and stuff but I did hang these hooks up here for our towels we also didn't get to finishing the, uh, the wires here hiding the wires that might be just something we roll with this trip and finish up later uh, we have a lot to do still but some of it can wait, right, Emmett? Yeah. Genius. Did you say you're a genius? Yeah, I'm genius. <laughs> All right, guys. Genius. Thanks for watching. Derek's busy out here organizing all of our stuff and oh, oh so much stuff. So much stuff. We we have acquired so much stuff, you guys. I mean, look, silicone, silicone. Just so much stuff. We stuff. Have. I also bought stuff to line this. So maybe we can do that this week at home. I'm not really sure. I did that, but we didn't get it covered. And we bought stuff to make this all pretty. Didn't have time to do that either. And we also have a plan to cover all of this area right here. No. Didn't get to that. And didn't get to covering this. So... That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching RV the Bus. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and probably love.